Hi, this is Rick Neimer with the Palo Alto Weekly. We're here today with Sarah Osterberg. She is our Athlete of the Week. She's a senior at Menlo Atherton, runs the 1600 and 3200, uh, winning both events this weekend at the Sarah Top 7 Invitational. Uh, the 1600 was her PR, uh, helped the MA girls win the team title, uh, just had a kind of an outstanding meet. Uh, maybe even talk, let's, let's start there, talk about the Sarah Top 7 and you know what you thought of it and how you did. Yeah, the Sarah Top 7 was definitely a great meet for us um, as a team. Not only did I get a great PR, but we all placed um, the distance girls, especially in the top eight, I believe, in both the 16 and the 32, and our sprinters did really well. So it was just really fun for even girl sprinters, boy sprinters, and girl distance, boy distance to all do really well. You know, how motivating is it for your teammates to be, you know, I know they line up the, along the track and cheer for you, especially in the later laps. Kind of how motivating does that get you? That's really nice, actually, especially with the 32, eight laps is a lot around a track. And so just knowing that I have like little landmarks where all my different teammates are standing and cheering me on, it's actually really helps me uh, get through the race. Great. Now, I understand your mother is a marathoner. Uh, uh, kind of, I guess that's why you like to to run the distances. But just kind of how you got involved with with her, uh, you know, going with her and and then becoming a runner. Yeah, she definitely. She was the one who suggested that I do cross country my freshman year. So she's um, the one who got me into it. And just seeing her run, we do long runs occasionally on the weekends, and seeing her do the marathons, just like the race um, feeling I was introduced to, which was really fun. Yeah, and two miles is a little different than 26, but, you know. Uh, and then you, you started with cross country, and uh, you had a pretty good year. Kind of talk about your cross country season. Cross country was great, definitely. Coming off of a track season last year didn't quite end how I wanted it to. I got mono, and so I couldn't do that well in PAL finals. Um, but over the summer, I trained a lot and was really excited for a good cross country season. And so having um, qualifying for state eventually in cross country was really great. And then also um, got me excited for the track season. So that was great. Right. So cross country kind of made up for the bad uh, track. That's, I'm sorry to hear that that happened because, uh, you know, I know that MA had a pretty good chance at really finishing high. Um, so just, just getting back to the team aspect of the thing, um, you know, Everybody needs the sprinters, everybody needs the distance runners. Um, just having everybody that does so well, uh, you know, and you think about you're doing it for MA, what does that mean? That's really great, especially with Jessica doing so well. Having that kind of team mindset um, definitely motivates you to keep going. And you're not just doing it for yourself, you're doing it um, just to see the team succeed as a whole, which is great. Right now, as you get, uh, you had your PR in the 1600, does that make you reset? Maybe you can go a little bit faster and, and uh, you know, how, where would you like to see yourself in, you know, in a month? Yeah, definitely. Coming into the season, I wanted to have, um, I wanted to break the 520 mark and get closer to 510. And so now after hitting the 520 mark, and I know that I can go even faster, especially with um, bigger competition, like at the Stanford Invite and uh, coming up CCS Top 8. Um, I definitely want to get closer to 510, even though it's a lot of uh, seconds to shave off. But uh, that's definitely the goal for the end of the season. Well, I, I can see sometimes uh, the distance runners actually shave off a little more time than, than the sprinters were, of course. But uh, so it's, it's a possible goal. I mean, it's, uh, it's obviously you want to try to make an impossible goal for yourself and, and make it possible, I guess. Uh, but just talk about in, in general, do you, uh, you know, I should have asked this before, but, you know, do you, running with clubs and things and, and you know what kind of uh, experience is that for you? I don't actually run, um, I never did any club outside of school so the only running I've done um, on a team is for cross country and track in high school. Oh, and so the training with your mother helps no matter what, where you are, whether yeah. you're on a club or not. But uh, And then again, where does MAC, you know, I know you I know we, uh, Alan likes to talk about team, 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 and uh, have you guys talked about where you guys as a team want to be? Yeah, we definitely want to win PALs again because I know the girls team has won uh, the past two or three years, I think, in a row. And so winning again, um, especially my senior year, would be really fun to see. Yeah. Great. So we've been talking to Sarah Osterberg. She is our Athlete of the Week this week, and congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> And if you want to find out about next week's Athlete of the Week, hit that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.